Previously in the last class, we learned the location of Eastern African countries, landforms such as the Great Rift Valley and major water forms. Before we begin, open this link to see live temperatures displayed on Google Earth. Find Eastern Africa. Is it warm or cool today? Today we'll focus on what the climate is like in Eastern Africa. Mostly this area varies between wet and dry seasons. Usually it is very warm because it is near the equator, so the sun is more directly shining and heating the air. But as you go up in altitude, it does get cooler. We have two new vocabulary words, savanna, which is a grassland, and is pictured here. Desertification is the process where vegetation disappears. It is caused by three factors, cutting down trees, overgrazing by animals, and drought. This area is also prone to earthquakes because there is a major crack that is causing rifting. As the Horn of Africa, as it is called, is slowly moving away from the rest of Africa. As land is pushed up by tectonics, it creates mountains. These mountains end up blocking rain and the cool breeze from oceans, which makes this area even warmer. This is an interesting diagram that is a cross section of Eastern Africa if you were to look at the crust layer of land from the side. It's similar to slicing bread. The right side is moving away from the rifting, which is pulling the land apart in the middle enough to collect more water. It is like when you pull silly putty apart and it gets thinner in the middle. Notice that there is also water collected in the mountains as there are some lakes in the higher elevations. What are some natural resources of this area? Eastern Africa is known for its gold and diamonds in the ground. Salt is a big commodity as it was once used as currency. There's also coffee, oil, and natural gas. Africans are also able to use geothermal energy as a resource. Although we will learn about Wangari Mathai in a different lesson, it is mentioned here as her efforts are to increase natural resources and planting trees. The other video shows how an African farmer is using a hybrid version of egg plants to increase his crop yield as climate conditions get tougher in this area. Eastern Africa is also home to many national parks, 25 in fact. The unique habitat is home to unique animals and the Serengeti National Park is home to very large animals that migrate. This video shows thousands of wildebeest running rampant to avoid crocodiles. The scene is similar to the one in Lion King, where Simba's father is trampled. People pay large sums to visit such places, so ecotourism is important to the income locally. Ironically, losing their habitats is the number one danger as some people destroy it. Today's activity will be to search the internet for one animal that lives in Eastern Africa. Using the Padlet link, you will create one post that includes the image of the animal what the animal is called, and include whether that animal is endangered or not. Many in this part of the world are. Don't forget to include your name on your post. Remember to be polite and appropriate on your post and others.